All right, I uh, thought I'd show you the uh, glove box. This is the glove box that I removed from the truck and I uh, wanted to show you where I mounted the uh, electronic uh, fuel injection enhancer. Uh, when you open up the glove box, it opens up this far. Uh, that's where I mounted the enhancer. To show you, I actually just drilled it from the back side. I just put the uh, enhancer up against the back here, took a pencil, marked the holes, drilled it. Uh, where the wire comes through, I used a 3 8 grommet. You just drill a 3 8 hole, slip the grommet in there for the wiring. It's easy to reach into. Flip your power switch. Uh, your adjustment screw is right there. Your test probes are right here where you can get to them real easy to uh, make your adjustment. And uh, that's where the wire goes through. Uh, these were the knobs I told you to push in. You just push in on the side of this glove box. It's uh, plastic. It's flexible. That allows your glove box to fold out. There's those uh, legs that tie in on those little arms. And that's what it pivots on. That bar sits right in there. And uh, once you pull this uh, top out, it uh, folds right out in your hand. So. That's the enhancer mounted in the glove box where it's out of the way. I've got plenty of wire. I'm going to leave the entire wire wiring harness connected. Uh, that way, if I have to move it, I can move it. Okay, your wiring. Red's your power. Green is your O2 sensor. Now, that sensor wire I was telling you about that we're going to cut uh, by the computer, this when you cut that sensor wire, the part that leads back to the O2 sensor is what you put the green wire to. The rest of the sensor wire that leads into the computer harness, you're going to hook the white wire to, and then I'm going to hook the uh, black into a ground right there in that same area. So the other two wires, the brown and the blue, I don't use because this is a single O2 sensor hookup. But that's how easy it is. So the next step is we're going to take this over to the truck and uh, install the uh, wiring. And I'll show you that once the splice is made. Uh, we'll come back and uh, show you the connection. And then we'll go on to uh, putting the uh, glove box back in place. And then this installation is done. And then we can move on to mounting the, uh, the hydrogen generator. Okay, YouTube, the uh, fuel injection enhancer is installed. It's all spliced into the harness. As you can see right here, the white wire goes to the computer, comes off the enhancer. There's the wire we cut, leads to the computer. Green wire off the enhancer goes to the other half of the sensor wire. That leads back to the O2 sensor. Black is uh, mated to a ground. Uh, my positive comes over to the other side and is uh, mated to a uh, switched power line. I zip tied the assembly to the support bar. I uh, kept the rest of it on in case I needed to move the unit, which goes down to the glove box. But you simply pick up, feed the glove box into its uh, maiden area, which is right there. And we'll tuck these wires up out of the way. Unit's on. See how that will slide right in? You just push it up. Okay, sets in place. There, your glove box is back in. There's the unit, and it's powered on. And uh, if you bear with me, we're going to hook the uh, test probes into it. I have the O2 sensor heated up, and because I have the extenders in the exhaust, uh, I'm getting a pretty high reading. Now, I'm told that these things run 200 milliamps right out of the uh, factory where they're made. Okay, so he sends them out with 200 milliamps. But if you look at my test deal, I'll bring it up. I'm running 470. Now the engine's off, 
it's running at 470 and what I'm thinking is um, that's, that I think that's got to do something with the um, with the uh, extender so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the motor to cool down and um, I'm gonna take the extender off and uh, redo the test so I'm pretty sure I've got the right wire um, when I tested it uh, the reading was really fluctuating between uh, around 120 all the way up to it would go to like 540 so we're gonna let it cool down take the extender out uh, fire the motor back up once it cools and uh, we'll see what we have because when the engine's running uh, the millivolts does move around a little bit but it doesn't move around a lot and I think what's happened is I've got my O2 sensor completely out of the exhaust flow so uh, I think I actually need to get it back in the flow a little bit I think it's I think it's sitting way too out so we'll get back to you hey YouTube back okay O2 sensor I took the extender out so now the O2 sensor brand new and spliced in is now into the exhaust flow okay probes are set I'm on the correct wire because I checked the other purple wire and the other purple wire when you check it with the uh, a little uh, tester here reads almost uh, 13 and a half volts so I don't think that's the one I'm looking for so but this is what mine is reading now the same reading there's no fluctuation uh, it reads anywhere from 438 to 451 now it's just the O2 sensor there's no extender in it it's in the exhaust flow now if I take and back probe the wires and bypass the EFIE I get readings anywhere from negative 68 all the way to 795 and it's fluctuating it's up and down and it's all over the place um, once I turn the uh, once I probe the test markers right there now my reading is steady at 450 so I'm kinda curious on uh, what I do next um, I'm gonna go read up on it a little bit um, before I start messing around uh, with the adjustment um, I might I might bring it down I might back the screw off a little bit and see if I can't bring it down into the 350 range and see if it'll hold steady at 350 but um, that's it for the day I'll mess around with a little bit uh, the EFI is installed glove box is back in um, it's on a keyed switch and uh, I'm gonna go inside for a while and uh, we'll play around with this another time so another video done over and out have a good one bye